30,000 feet above the Atlantic, heading for the sun. And strangely enough, the calm, quiet comfort of a VC-10 hardly seems exciting. But on this journey, there's more than a hint of sun and excitement. The drinks may have a Caribbean flavor, and we are headed for a dream island in the sun. But the West Indies might as well be on the other side of the world. So take a closer look and see if you can believe it can come true. Island in the sun, dreams come true, far away place with strange sounding name. The cliches don't seem real, but this is one millionaire's hideaway that's come much closer to home. A balcony breakfast with a swimming pool view. It looks and feels like impossible luxury, but these days all this is nearer than it may seem. Indies are a thousand miles to the south. This is Bermuda, and if you like, this is you. You can stop dreaming of the impossibility of entering rich men's playgrounds because this is our own coral island, within the realm of package deals, economy plans, and the Stirling area. The scenery belies the fact, but Bermuda is not tropical. There's a definite summer season, it's long, April to October. And even winter rarely sees the mercury slip below 60, a climate the locals call bracing. But you can't think of winter in a place or time like this. Hamilton is Bermuda Seafront's capital city with its own variation on a New England architectural theme. You see it best from a taxi that keeps you in the shade. There's a 20 mile an hour speed limit in the British island of Bermuda and if you want to get about under your own steam you hire a scooter or moped and take a two wheel trip through counties called Somerset, Pembroke, Devonshire. The West Country flavour lingers. Bermuda was first settled by pilgrims shipwrecked on their way to Virginia. These days ships that pass in the night are more likely to see the light and the lighthouse that stands on Gibbs Hill is an illuminating climax to that motorised bike ride. Naturally enough, the lighthouse stands on Bermuda's highest point, a good place to take off and discover that you're in the midst of what's been called the treasure island of golf. Seven world-class courses on only 21 square miles of island in all. Some of those package deal holidays include golf, and there's only one handicap. The scenery quite easily takes your eye off the ball. One is the last thing you want when you feel like spinning it out. Wherever you stand on Bermuda, you're only a few hundred yards from the sea, and almost anywhere is a good place to set off into big game country, deep sea big game. Once on the track of blue or white marlin, blackfin tuna, amber jack, rainbow runner, and fighting barracuda, anyone can feel like an old man of the sea. Once a strike's made, the battle's only begun. A marlin can outrace a motor launch or snap the line with a twist of its tail. It takes more cunning than brute force to haul in the prized wahoo, a fish they call the tiger of the deep. There are more placid aquatic amusements, tangling with the turtle at a place called the Devil's Hole. If you do make a catch, hardly likely without a hook and anyway the turtles know the ropes, you have to throw it back because this is really an aquarium. Devil's Hole is a natural sea-made grotto. The fish can get in, but they can't get out. A strangely pampered freedom. 
The long-tailed, Bermuda's jealously protected national seabird is freest of all, a symbol of all that's wild and unspoiled. Quite suddenly and simply, you are as free and away from it all as the long tail. Bermuda is a fluke, the tip of a submarine mountain, a volcanic rock, encrusted over millions of years by living coral, fossilized into crags and coves and broken by wind and sea into tiny fragments that make scores of just pink beaches, as lonely and secluded as you like. Yachtsmen prefer a crowd with the competition keen. You can hire a small boat by the hour or day, and you don't have to be Chichester to enjoy the splash and dash of sailing in the Great Sound. But in race week, they come from all over the world to prove that this is the place to sail. Almost as free as the wind, or the long tail, it's hardly the place to come down to earth. But if you're just arriving, you'll want to. Any day of the week, a VC-10 takes you to a coral island in the middle of the Atlantic. Sailing, golf, fishing, exploring deserted bays, or just soaking up the sun by day. And there's still that hint of Caribbean excitement to liven up the night. Limbo! Everything in Bermuda seems unbelievable, but once you've seen it, you must believe it, and do more than just dream about it. 